Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah where we are countering the Israeli lies one at a time. And yes, we are joined yet again with our lady friend. Uh, we roasted her a few videos back when she was on Sky News. Do you think Britain would have said in well, silent? Would have said in well. silent? <laughs> well, the, the big disproportional is... <laughs> And now she's made an appearance yet again. Apparently her name is Zippy, as you can see on the screen. I hope I'm <laughs> pronouncing that uh, uh, incorrectly. Not to be confused with this lovable character whose mouth can actually be zipped. Ashamed of the fact that you're not presenting the right picture. And you cannot say different. Has nothing to do. Has nothing to do. To, no, 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 no. I said something different. You need to listen to my words. To be honest, guys, we need to step up. Yeah, we should petition to get her name changed instead of a zippy to zip it. Yes, yes, and yes, and that, yes. From the previous video, let's hope because she is the UK Israeli ambassador. Maybe she has worked on her English. Children in Israel. We're receiving rockets on their heads. Right, uh, of course not. But let's jump into it. Let's see what the BBC was actually bringing to the table. Have I believe not. The military And this power, is why Dominic Raab, this power, is why Dominic Raab, the political Rab, power, the diplomatic your leverage, your it is secretary incumbent said upon in a very you words, to be responsible. Damn, she got told off like a little kid. <laughs> you know, sounds like your mum telling you off for beating up your little brother. But you know what guys, this is important. Yeah, we need to shut down these wafflers when they are terrorist sympathizers. You can't be doing that, yeah, without being called to account. Let's let's put our cards on the table. This is not, oh, let's say your opinion, let's say my opinion. No, no, no. It's clear what's going on in Palestine. So isn't it incumbent upon you to be responsible here? That doesn't mean shooting attacks that leave children dead. Very good point by the BBC. Let's see what Zippity Duda has to say about this. Well, we want to protect children. Look, I don't like using the word retard for people, yeah, because I think it's a politically incorrect term. <sighs> hmm. I get there. Yeah, so wanting and doing are two different things. I want to grow muscles, but I haven't picked up weights in the last four months. The EU has said these potential evictions are illegal under international humanitarian law. The UN says displacing natives could constitute a war crime under the Geneva Convention. Emily posits international law says this and Zippy's response is Well, it's very simple. It's a legal decision. And our attorney general asked to ask the court to postpone. This is an ongoing case. We made a law and we've decided that we're right. Oh my God. And she was so happy with her pathetic answer that she said it again. This is a legal issue. This legal they issue. They don't believe that the law is helping them. They don't you know, believe they're you, you protected know by your you know law. Exactly. Yeah. Let's take the scenario of a judge who's a murderer. Yeah. Now he is not allowed to make up his own law so he can be let off scot-free. His opinion is not going to be taken seriously in this regard because there's a conflict of interest. Similarly, Israel is an occupying power. Why on earth would it rule against itself and say, yeah, we're going to kick ourselves out, mate? You know Jerusalem as much as I do. I'm and sure I know, don't know it as well as you, you know. do. <laughs> Why would she know as much as you, mate? This is such a desperate attempt to make it seem like they're both on the same page. And boy, she just got shamed, mate. If I was this woman's daughter, mate, I'd say, you know what? I need to put myself up for adoption. This woman is not fit enough to be my mother. Think how would you feel if London was under rocket attack? And would you sit silently and not respond in order to protect your people? If London was attacked, we would protest. We would challenge the government. We would tell them to stop occupying other lands. Just like we do when it comes to Iraq and Afghanistan. We wouldn't enable them, you terrorist sympathizer. And you know what else we wouldn't be doing? We wouldn't be killing innocent little children. We wouldn't be targeting media buildings like Associated Press and Al Jazeera. And the terror has come down. That terror is where Al Jazeera's offices are warehoused. 
The Associated Press offices were also housed in that building. And we wouldn't be attacking the most holiest of sites of the Muslims. To you fired children, into a mosque. With you all fired, respect. You fired and you stun know grenades, that. rubber and you know bullets that. and water cannon as people were praying. Surely you recognise that as an act of aggression. And this was a factual point, yeah? We know that it's the third most holiest place for the Muslims. It was the first Qibla. There's not a hand span's worth of space where an angel hasn't stepped foot or a prophet hasn't stepped foot. So let's see her response. Everything is under videos. You can see. As she said, there have been a lot of videos that have been coming out. So let's check the facts. The fact is 80,000 Muslims were praying and worshipping while their leadership, both the Palestinian Authority leadership and the Hamas leadership, was calling to come and commit violence. And this is the thing that made Israel to send soldiers, to send not soldiers, to send the police in order to protect law and order. Hang on a minute, did she just admit that 80,000 people, mostly innocent, got attacked because of a threat? Or did she just imply that 80,000 praying and worshipping folk just became henchmen for Hamas. Israel has military power, it has policing power, it has political power. You have over the people of Gaza complete, Gaza complete control of their imports, their exports, their water sources, and as you were hearing, their ability to even vote for their own democratic uh, right and leaders. Facts. Yeah, absolute facts. And this is why we say nobody can sit on the fence in this matter. Because it is clear apartheid and ethnic cleansing and this woman can waffle all day and all night long yeah it's not going to change the facts for an objective individual watching all this you know what time it is put your bias aside of muslims yeah to be fair i don't blame you guys because muslims don't necessarily get good coverage in the media and if you are a regular media consumer then of course you're not going to like muslims but this issue i'm sorry it's, it's quite clear in fact it goes to show that even mainstream media who have been, let's face it, silencing Palestinian voices for decades. Yeah, for decades. Yeah, even now they're finding it very, <laughs> they're finding it very difficult to side with Israel because of the footage that's emerging. Yeah, enough said, guys. Let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.